Now for our first conversation of the day, Fintuk will join cities around the world in celebrating World Car Free Day this Thursday, the 22nd of September 2022. The theme for the day is reducing our carbon footprint, with the main activity being a five-kilometer circle run and or walk for City of Fintuk employees and Fintuk residents. To give us more details, we are joined on the line by City of Fintuk's Manager of Corporate Communications, Marketing and Public Participation, Harold Akwenye. Good evening and welcome to the Daily Roundup. Good evening and good evening, listeners. All right. First things first, this is the first time Fintuk will be celebrating World Car Free Day. Why did City of Fintuk see a need to commemorate this day? Uh, yes, it will be the first time that we'll be commemorating this uh, or hosting this uh, event. Uh, the Municipal Council of Ventuk, uh, for the first time, which will be the uh, 22nd of September, uh, is merely to raise uh, awareness on air pollution. That's the main aim, uh, the awareness raising. Uh, the Capri Day is an international commemoration day held each and every year on the 22nd of September. Uh, it encourages actually mostly motorists to give up their cars uh, for a day and are encouraged uh, to cycle, like you said earlier, walk, jog, or use public transport. And most importantly, if you are a group of friends or, or if you work at one uh, employment, uh, do some car pulling where you leave your car and rather travel with one vehicle of a friend or a colleague. Right. So uh, the main aim is merely on uh, awareness on air pollution. All right. And how can residents partake in this event? Uh, the thing is, uh, it is uh, uh, the residents uh, and corporates, especially who wish to take part in this event, can register free at, uh, of charge uh, from seven uh, uh, quarter past seven to uh, quarter to eight at the starting point in Komazal, which is uh, a part a participants who take part in this thing uh, will actually. Uh, uh, finish the race at the city of Ventuk head office in Independence Avenue and will receive digital um, certificates uh, for partaking in recognition and uh, participation uh, while uh, the city of Ventuk division uh, with uh, most participants will win a floating trophy for the biggest carbon saver of the day. So yes, uh, everybody can come together with their bikes uh, or uh, uh, at the city of Ventuk uh, in Komazal, uh, at the Komazal uh, station, and uh, there will be transport that will take you back, tra public transport that will take you back to your vehicles, which is uh, uh, in Komazal as soon as you reach the head office. Uh, the mayor will uh, address the group for about 20 minutes, and you get your medals, your certificates, and then we take you back where your vehicles are. All right. Now, is the city of Fintuk in a capacity to reduce vehicle emissions by increasing public transports like other cities around the world? And if so, what has been the progress made so far? The thing is, uh, Fintuk is becoming heavily motorized. Uh, hence, air pollution is becoming a great concern in the city. So we don't want to add more uh, transportation. Yes, uh, council has been looking at um, uh, more transportation, but more on the fact that it will be more or battery driven or solar driven and not uh, transport that will be omitting carbon dioxide. So uh, this event, though internationally known, will be the first of its kind for the Municipal Council of Ventuk. In addition to uh, raising awareness on air pollution, the event will also be promoting non-motorized transportation, as I said earlier, uh, so uh, the event will be uh, the launching pad of our country to celebrate and promote Car Free Day on a yearly basis. But with regard to adding more transportation to council uh, or to on our roads, uh, it's not advisable. Yes, uh, on the other hand, uh, uh, you know, we, when the launch of uh, the grey vehicles in Ventuk or in Namibia as a whole, especially the house of Sadek, where we could import vehicles from Japan, which is second-hand and so on. Yes, it, it allowed a lot of people really to have transport uh, where they never used to um, uh, afford. So, but on the same, at the same time, we actually add to more carbon dioxide in, our, uh, in the air. 
So the more we're starting to cut on vehicles on our road, the better it is for our environment going forward. And it's better for our children tomorrow to have a better uh, 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 clean air going forward. All right. Mr. Alquenya, what would you say are some of the non-motorized transportations which residents can incorporate as a green alternative in their daily commute? Uh, the most important thing is uh, the carpooling will be one of those that will be recommended. And in future, as we said, we uh, constantly were also looking at uh, having a type of train. Uh, it's, a, it's a train that will be transporting residents from uh, uh, all over Ventuk, say from Capitura to town, uh, and from town to, to the various universities. Uh, it, 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 and besides from that, uh, people can actually also make use of their bikes. But the thing that corporates have to do or that they have to look at is uh, the facilities that will actually promote uh, cycling to work where if you cycle, you can actually uh, have a changing room, you can have a shower, and uh, at the same time have lockers where you can actually put on your clothes as soon as you're done with a, with a, uh, uh, with a shower in order for you to start the, the day. And from there on, you put on your cycling gear again and cycle home. And that's uh, why we started with the cycling lanes. And uh, council is looking at uh, increasing these lanes and make them more safe for cyclists against uh, the vehicle users. Uh, so it's something that council is really looking at, especially the cycling uh, uh, aspect of it. And uh, yeah, well, let's hope that um, we are speeding it in order for it to be implemented. All right. Now, Mr. Kwenye, this is the first time Vintuk will be celebrating Vintuk Car Free Day. Are we expecting this on a yearly basis or is it just once off? Now, as I said, uh, it is definitely going to be on a yearly basis. Uh, each and every year on this day, which is uh, 20, uh, or to, on that specific day, which is the 22nd of September, this will be happening. And besides from that, we'll be frequently having where we close down roads within uh, the CBD, and no cars will be moving in within those parameters where those roads are closed, and people will just be walking. So those are all initiatives that we are looking at uh, to have more and more or less cars on our roads and for people to make use of public transport and or the, the car pulling, as I said, or more cycling to work. So, yes, we are uh, trying to get uh, more and more bikes and stations within uh, Vertuk, and we're looking at uh, our students also to cycle to the universities and uh, and, and actually the, the school-going kids as actually to to, to make use of their bikes going to school rather than their parents dropping them every morning and have dedicated lives for these uh, cyclists. All right. Mr. Aquenye, thank you so much for joining us. It's a pleasure. All right. That was Harold Aquenye, the communications manager for marketing and public participation in the city of Fintuk, talking to us about how Fintuk will be joining other cities in the world, celebrating World Car Free Day on Thursday, the 22nd of September. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back shortly after this.